Welcome to another spirit filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well. I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted unto you, and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Someone who is ready to experience God at a level you have never experienced shout a loud hallelujah in the name of jesus christ i really believe in what god is doing even through this conference and i know and i release my faith with you that tonight will be an unforgettable encounter i will always say it this way when you go for weddings or parties there's what they call souvenir a souvenir is usually a token of gratitude from the host to you and usually you carry it as proof that you were there so you don't need to say i was there all you need to do is present the souvenir in the name of jesus god will give you something tonight but you will not have to tell people you came it will be clear that you came the wisdom that comes upon you tonight will be clear that you met God. The favor, the miracles, the testimonies will attest to the fact that you met God. In the name of Jesus. Father, give me an encounter tonight. Lift your hands and cry to the God of heaven. Give me an encounter by your word. Give me an encounter by your spirit. A believer is praying. Praying from the depth of your heart. television family make sure you are praying all the overflows make sure you are praying give me an encounter my heart is set prepared for an encounter in Jesus name we pray let me honor all of the excellencies here and stand on the existing protocol the executive council the government house the representatives of the governor and um, the men and the women of God who are here represented I honor you all in the name of Jesus it's a privilege to bring us God's word again and um, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will not be a spectator tonight the scripture where his lordship read chapter 32 the story actually began in chapter 28 when Jacob came to a place called Luz and the Bible says he lay upon a stone to sleep and he saw a ladder that connected the heavens and the earth but he was careless with that encounter and he got up and said the Lord was in this place the angels were ascending and descending my question is to where because the man who needed them they seemed to ignore him he was seeing the angels ascend and descend but there was no package for him and what would follow that encounter was over 20 years of tragedy in the house of laban because of one encounter that was missed and so god comes again in chapter 32 and jacob said this time around i made a mistake i was careless with your presence and it cost me many years he dismissed everything and the bible says when he was alone a man came and he held on to him and he said leave me for the day breaketh he said i would not let you go i know my destiny depends on this encounter i will not let you go unless you bless me and he said what is your name he said jacob he said thou shalt no longer be called jacob but israel for as a prince you have had power with god and you have prevailed he touched the hole of his thigh and he blessed him. And the Bible says, The sun arose and he called the place Peniel. For I have seen God face to face and my life is preserved. The meaning of that is that when you are careless with encounters, it can cost you many years of pain. For someone, this may be your, the moment your mother has fasted for, prayed for, that Lord bring my family to a moment where they are liberated for real. 
bring my child to a moment where he will encounter an anointing you don't have the luxury of waiting one more year in pain and regret until the hand of time rolls back for someone this is the moment where the, the anointing that follows your ordination has been looking for you don't be careless pay rapt attention there were certain people called the sons of the prophet the next prophet after elijah should have come from one of them but they were careless with encounters and elisha said even though i was not part of the prophetic school i will follow diligently are we together now it takes diligence it takes hunger acts chapter 3 he said look on us and the bible says the man looked at them steadfastly expecting to receive you can expect to receive father in the name of jesus we are gathered tonight not unto a man we are gathered to experience the god who can end circles the god who can change stories the god who can rewrite destinies we have come to stand in faith with the verdict of heaven over our lives our businesses over taraba state we have come to say amen to a few things and say never again to others lord we pray tonight that you will be glorified let this meeting be a destiny defining encounter for in jesus name we pray i did that in the morning and let me do that because this may be your last chance for tonight walk up to two or three people and prophesy to them tell them never again oh never again you cried once you will not cry again you experience shame from january someone be generous with releasing that prophetic word never again in the name of jesus christ please be gloriously seated please be gloriously seated be gloriously seated hallelujah now i have a confession to make before i continue um i'm not going to be teaching what i initially planned to teach because um, tonight is a miracle service i want to pray for the sick and i want to minister to the needs of god's people so it will not allow the time um, my initial plan was to teach you on the mystery of altars but we'll leave that for another time it's a very important teaching most believers do not understand the mystery of altars these are systems of authorization in the spirit but again we'll leave that for another time um, because someone's someone's prayer has gotten to heaven and there has to be an answer tonight if that is not you allow your neighbor receive i said someone's prayer someone's desperation has gotten to the heavens and in the name of jesus your answer must enter your hands tonight in the name of jesus so we'll shelve that for another time god granting us grace but I've done a teaching on the mystery of altars. It's actually a teaching series, Let Them Have Dominion, Part 2. If you go online, Let Them Have Dominion, Part 2. I dealt with the mystery of altars. You want to take the time to just go through it and learn for your knowledge. So yesterday, quick recap. Our assignment yesterday night was to probe the integrity of God's word. The intent behind yesterday's teaching was to vet and conclude whether or not God is reliable. Whether or not his word can be trusted. And we established a few things yesterday. Just a quick recap. Number one, that God is not a man that you should lie. Still remember? And that God is not the son of man that you should repent that if he has spoken it is within his power to make what he says come to pass number two he says my covenant will i not break nor alter the thing that is gone forth from out of my mouth we consider genesis 21 from verse 1 that the lord visited sarah as he had said the lord did unto sarah as he has spoken and if you recall i did tell us that the word of god represent the boundary for the administration of god's power that god can do all things 
but he does not do all things his economy works by doing only what he says so the power of god only moves the direction of his word that the way to get god's power to the scene is to get his word to the scene remember that and we began to look at a few things that god has integrity and i told you that integrity means to be consistent in character unbending in your values predictable in terms of honesty and truthfulness that god is not only powerful he has integrity when he speaks he is consistent in character to bring what he says to pass we examine genesis chapter 1 the first time we see god manifesting as a speaking spirit and the bible says god said let there be light the response was and there was light that means any other thing he says should be must be are we together this morning for those of you who were not around again a very powerful time um i took the part one of what i'm about to discuss now enforcing god's will and we discussed a few very important things i would also want to do a quick recap on them i taught you how to enforce divine verdicts that as much as it is that god is a god of integrity there is a way that the speakings of god are established and manifested in the life of the saints we examined matthew chapter 6 and verse 10 your kingdom come your will be done in earth as it is in heaven then first corinthians chapter 3 if you recall and verse 9 profound scripture it says we are co-laborers or laborers together with christ i did tell us that everything that happens upon the earth is not just dependent on god and his word it's also dependent on the cooperation listen carefully and the participation of men when satan wants to met out evil and destruction upon the earth the plan is fabricated in the realm of the spirit but the execution is with respect to willing men the purposes and the program of god are we together now established in the heavens in the mind of god but the execution of the same depends on the presence the availability and the yieldedness of willing men so the bible says the heaven of the heavens belong to the lord but the earth hath he given to the children of men that means as mighty as god is full of integrity full of power full of grace he can establish a verdict concerning your life are we together but whether or not that verdict will find expression in your life in experience does not just depend on his integrity it also depends on your knowing how to come into partnership with god are we following now and i taught us in the morning that essentially according to scripture there are two ways to come into partnership with divine verdicts for their manifestations upon the earth number one is the partnership of prayer the partnership of prayer that when you go to the place of prayer that is the biblical way to say amen that you don't say amen just by verbalizing amen you say amen by submitting to the ministry of prayer and i told you that prayer is essentially predicated upon the fact that god gave man a will and he will not usurp on your will are we together now yes i did define for us in the morning i don't want to bore you again with that definition that not every one of god's creature can be called man there is an exact requirement you must fulfill to be called man one of it is that you must be a spirit if you are not a spirit you cannot be called man number two that spirit must be domiciled in a body number three that spirit must have solical faculties that give you an advantage of expression both from the realm of the spirit and the physical realm there are animals who are god's creatures they are not called man angels cannot be called man there is an exact species of god's creation that he called man so when the bible says the earth hath he given to the sons of men not everybody has earned that status man and then the bible says in luke 18 and verse 1 still speaking about men he spake a parable that that man that god created giving him dominion that they ought always to pray and not to faint 
so in the place of prayer you come into divine partnership the place of prayer is the place where the saints say amen the place of prayer is the place where the saints say never again it is not something you carelessly verbalize you commit to prayer it was the apostolic model that was left with the church in acts chapter 2 and verse 42 the bible says and they continued steadfastly in the apostles doctrine in the breaking of bread in fellowship and in prayer acts chapter 6 and verse 4 but we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word first thessalonians 5 17 it says pray without ceasing mark eleven twenty four. what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe that thou receivest them and thou shalt have them james 5 13 is any man afflicted the bible says let him pray so when the saints do not pray they authorize darkness not praying is like living your land without sowing anything something will still grow because satan is also a farmer are we together when he meets any virgin land he does not live it the way he met it one of the ways satan steals is not to take alone one of the ways he steals is also to introduce things he's not always taking satan is a giver too it's only that he gives what is not needed he can give trouble are we together now <laughs> the bible says if you being evil know how to give good gifts that means there are bad gifts and somebody has to be the one giving them when you get up with a growth you did not go to bed with that is something that was given but it's not a good gift because it does not bring glory to the lord let me speak to someone already every tree that my father has not planted anything roaming around your body roaming around your destiny tonight in the name of the lord jesus the son of the living god you will not walk out with that same thing in your body please be seated so the first way we enforce the speakings of god the will of god the verdict of heaven in our lives extending to our businesses our families and our territory is by submitting to the ministry of prayer i told you your prayer has to be fervent heartfelt your prayer has to be word compliant to produce power shouting arbitrarily carelessly amiss without the content of scripture is wasting your time in prayer in fact what makes prayer prayer is beyond the energy that is dissipated in the place of prayer the the word compliancy of your prayer is what gives it power and so tonight very quickly as a charge so that i'll have enough time to minister to the needs of god's people we'll look at part two of enforcing god's will and we'll be looking at the power of obedience the power of obedience these are the two spiritual systems for enforcing any divine verdict when god speaks it does not guarantee that it will come to pass the manifestation of everything god has said depends on the cooperation of the saints in prayer and in obedience if you're with me say amen, amen. you would notice maybe just to help the ushers you would notice that offering baskets are being passed i believe that should be for your prayer requests and so for those of you who are here to write your prayer requests do take some time without distraction to pen down your expectations and um, for those who already have you can do well to pass to the ushers and ushers once you do that just calm down so that the people don't get distracted and uh, we'll give you room again to go ahead so for those who have written your requests please make sure you write it write everything you are tired of that must give way in your life because in the name of jesus the son of the living god fire will fall upon this place tonight and everything that does not name the name of christ that is not planted by my god will give way for someone the veil that has covered your ministry and stopped your relevance in this land is about to be torn down finally in the name of jesus christ hallelujah the power of obedience two scriptures very quickly job chapter 36 and verse 11 job 36 and verse 11 job 36 and verse 11 
let me have your attention for one moment i want us to read it together if you see it projected let's read in concert ready one to read if they obey uh-huh the first word please as loud as you can just the first word you see ready one more time if one more time now you see such a strong condition if it is not just subject to the potency of my word nor my power if they obey me they have a choice they can choose as an act of their will as an act of their volition that in spite of the fact that i have planned great things prosperity and pleasure he says if they obey me and they serve me he leaves you with an assurance that they shall spend their days there is a package for your days and there is a package for your years and all of them are connected to obedience scripture number two isaiah chapter one and verse 19 isaiah chapter one and verse 19 read it as if it will be your testimony after tonight ready one to go if ye be willing and obedient ye shall eat the good of the land one more time there is good in every land there is good in every legitimate business there is good in every family there is good in every destiny but whether or not your portion of good will come to you depends on your willingness and your obedience your willingness and your obedience be patient as i read deuteronomy chapter 28 let me begin from verse 1 media let's work together deuteronomy 28 i'll begin my reading from verse 1 patiently follow as we establish the power of obedience verse 1 it says it shall come to pass if thou shall hearken diligently you see conditions now unto the voice of the lord thy god to observe and to do all his commandments which i commanded this day the result that the lord thy god will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth verse 2 and all these blessings how many blessings all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee condition if thou shalt hearken to the voice of the lord thy god what are the blessings number one verse three blessed shall thou be in the city blessed shall thou be in taraba blessed shall thou be in jalingo it says blessed shall thou be in the field next verse verse four now blessed shall be the fruit of your body that means you will not give birth to an armed robber you will not give birth to a prostitute the fruit of your body and the fruit of your ground your ground is anywhere you sow your business your work your career it says the fruit of your cattle the increase of thy kind the flocks of thy sheep verse 5 blessed shall be your basket and your store verse 6 blessed shall thou be when thou come in and blessed shall thou be when thou go out keep this scripture for one minute there are people who are only blessed when they come in they are not blessed when they go out you have to come into certain cities and certain regions to be blessed and once they are not in there they cannot be blessed but the bible says on account of obedience a grace can be activated upon your life that whether you come in or go out the result is the same whether you are in america whether you are in jalingo whether you are in joss whether you are in in in, in yola you are in my that you program your reality not based on region it's a covenant a grace that follows you blessed shall thou be when thou comest in and blessed shall thou be when thou goest out let's finish up seven the lord on account of your obedience shall cause thy enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before your face they shall come against thee one way and flee seven ways the 
Lord shall command the blessing upon your storehouse and on all that thou settest thy hands unto he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord God giveth thee we're almost there verse 9 the Lord shall establish thee a holy people unto himself as he has sworn to thee if thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord and walk in his ways verse 10 as a result of your obedience all the people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord and they shall be afraid of thee verse 11 the Lord shall make you plenteous in goods who makes men plenteous in goods you look for it you will never find it it is the Lord that makes men plenteous in goods in the fruit of your body the fruit of your cattle the fruit of your ground in the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers to give you the final verse verse 12 verse 12 the Lord shall open to you his good treasure the heavens to give thee rain unto thy land in his season and to bless all the work of your hands it says thou shall lend to many and thou shall not borrow shout a loud amen so in addition to the ministry of prayer which has to do with exercising your will now please look up please look up please look up every verdict of heaven every promise of God made to the saints listen carefully has conditions attached for its manifestation every single promise to the saints from God for your well-being for your excelling has conditions attached to it why does God attach conditions to promises to give you an opportunity to choose whether to obey or disobey if conditions were not attached to promises God would not be just because you cannot obey until there is an opportunity to disobey the mere fact that you have an option to disobey is what gives obedience value are we together every blessing from God every prophetic word every divine verdict every will and intent of God for the saints requires the saints to participate to partner with God through obedience what does it mean to obey God to obey God means to walk in keeping with the conditions that make for the manifestation of his speakings to obey God means to walk in keeping to walk in keeping with the conditions that make for or allow for the manifestation of his speakings the manifestation of his will the manifestation of prophetic words in our lives when you walk in keeping with the conditions connected to every prophetic word connected to every blessing it is said that you are walking in obedience and let me tell you the truth you may have heard me say it but let me say it again for reminder not everything in the kingdom is a gift not everything in the kingdom is a gift there are rewards the bible tells us god rewards a reward is not a gift a reward honors obedience or efforts are we together this is very important so when god speaks ladies and gentlemen whenever you hear what god says either as a rima word to your spirit or the written word scripture that you have found your search has not been complete until you find the role you have to play in making that word come to pass there is always a participatory role from the saints that commit god's word are we together whether it is your healing whether it is deliverance whether it is prosperity whether it is increased advancement longevity you name it every aspect of the kingdom life demands obedience from the saints if you will see god's word manifest in your life 
as simple as this statement is it is the reason why many believers keep claiming things or wishing things and they never see the manifestation of God's promises over their lives I told us yesterday that when Jesus was walking on water and the disciples saw him Peter said if it be thou bid me come he did not say Peter come he simply said come but the person who obeyed not the person who heard the person who obeyed that was the person who received the result in fact the Bible tells us in Hebrews chapter 4 it says there remained a rest for the people of God in as much as they are the people of God there is still a rest they are still wanting for a rest he said they heard the word just like we did but the word did not profit them not being mixed with faith in them that heard it and so he leaves us with an instruction he says let us labor to enter the rest labor in prayer labor in obedience to enter the rest rest in ministry rest in finances rest in destiny are we together written in scripture is a roadmap to an excelling life in scripture in 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 ministry written here in scripture is a roadmap to an excelling life as a businessman an excelling life for your finances for your health everything that makes for life and godliness is captured in scripture your assignment is to number one understand that divine verdict that this is god's will for you whether or not you walk in it is a different thing if you die of sickness today it does not change the fact that god wants you healed the bible says let god be true taraba speak to me let god be true and all men whether the men are preachers whether the men are apostles prophets whether the men are businessmen whether the men are parents let god be true and every man including every condition be a lie your assignment is to use the written word and engage it in prayer engage it through obedience are we together to change everything in your life and to keep overturning until your reality becomes consistent with that which is said so i give you an instance you find yourself struggling financially you are poor you are broke ends are not meeting and you are a righteous person you love the lord rather than giving flimsy excuses and cooking up all kinds of theologies go back to god and take responsibility there is provision for the economy of the saints whether it is working or not in your life is a different thing and if it is not working you take responsibility what is the will of god concerning my economic well-being are we together now when you find it you engage in the place of prayer and then you find out the conditions connected let me give you a few conditions just as an example one the bible says a diligent hand shall be made fat the bible says he who does not sow by reason of the weather will beg in harvest so diligence is one of the ways you partner with the grace to prosper are we together now there is the force of favor there is the force of relationships there's the force of value see thou a man diligent in his business he shall not stand before mean men if you neglect all these things you can claim prosperity all you want the door will never open because god is not a man that he should lie and if you claim part of the laws and obey part you will be learning that the power of obedience is when it is complete not when you start obeying what gives power to obedience is you finish the process of obedience having the readiness to judge all disobedience when your obedience is complete imagine that we were flying in from abuja to taraba and just three minutes to landing we turn the plane how many of you know that in the air we're already within the airspace of taraba but i cannot say i'm in taraba yet I'm still in the air 
your airspace but i'm still hanging in the air if for any reason the pilot turns back and takes me to abuja if i call you and i say i came to taraba will you believe me that's how many christians are they roam around the corridors of obedience but it never gets complete and then they keep wondering why it does not work are we together how about your health what is the secret to health and wellness man shall not live by bread alone but by every word so if the only thing you are eating is bread alone you will most likely die in an untimely way because longevity is a product of bread and scripture bread and scripture every time you wake up in the morning as you are eating the bread in your kitchen remember there are two kinds of bread that keep you sustained bread and every proceeding word you are malnourished when you eat only once a month so if you are eating bread physical bread every day and the bread of the spirit is once a month when you are broken in the spirit it will tell on your body that's why the machines cannot detect what is wrong but you know you are sick because a broken spirit can dry up the bones sickness can start from the realm of the spirit and actually affect your physical body and the machines are not trained to detect spirit activities so they will look for something and say you are you are not all right but the name of what is wrong with you may not be known we will never settle for less we know there's more that's found in you and we will never settle for less when we know there's more that's found in you what is the key to healing no matter the kind of power that is available for healing the administration of god's healing power depends on the hearing of faith and the action of obedience that's how healing happens if you do not hear the word of faith and act in obedience you will not be healed that's how it works how about longevity apostle i want to live long i know god wants to keep me long you may die surprisingly if you do not know the key to longevity there is an exact spiritual technology that captures longevity number one honor your father and your mother in the lord that your days may be long you walk in disobedience insulting everybody you keep subtracting your days without knowing here is a word to a very arrogant young generation you insult every elderly person whether in ministry or in life no matter what you think you have life will keep quiet but you do not know you are depleting your days at the prime of your destiny you will fall down and collapse with no explanation because scripture cannot be broken i'm not scaring you is the truth number two the bible says i said before you life and death i said before you blessing and cursing choose life with all due respect if you smoke 10 packs 20 packs you have chosen death to choose life does not mean to verbalize your choice to make pro-life decisions like your health your well-being you don't damage your organs through carelessness choose life are we learning now number three i shall not die but live and declare if you are not actively serving the purposes of god there is no justification for longevity you don't need long life if your longevity is not an advantage to god's program why do you want to live long are we together look at me some of you here run great companies and corporations if you want to downsize your workers usually the principal yardstick will be inefficiency am i right on that if you are reducing workers from 50 to 10 the ultimate basis would be those who are inefficient so don't you just claim long life when your life is you are not serving in the house of god when you hear that something that is pro kingdom is happening it's not your interest you are signing up for untimely death so it's not about saying i will not die there are conditions attached who is learning are we together when you give birth to a stubborn and a nasty child sometimes it may not be but most times is the carelessness of the parents because the bible said train up a child it is a train up an adult when you wait for the child to become an adult and you start struggling to bend the person 
train up a child god knows why he described the, the state of the child's life don't wait for a child to become an adult they run their lives until they become a nuisance to society it is difficult to train adults train up a child the way to train up a child is not to give instructions is to provide mentorship mentorship means you lead while they copy if as a father you've never prayed before your child and you tell your child you must be a prayer warrior you are not training the child transformation is difficult without a reference there has to be a reference is someone learning now i'm showing you why many believers keep claiming things that never happen they do not know that there are conditions connected to every manifestation of god's verdict god's verdict for instance the bible says no inhabitant in zion shall say i am sick you will be surprised how many believers are still struggling with diseases and that's not an insult is to tell you that satan is a stubborn spirit he will act like he did not hear what god said hence the need to enforce through obedience enforce through obedience enforce through obedience what is the secret to church growth many things but among them that if i be lifted up from the earth so as a man of god when your attention shifts from yourself to projecting jesus you have found the key to drawing men provided it is myself my ministry my attention no the one you are projecting is the one who sponsors the increase paul can plant apollo can water but increase is exclusively of god exclusively of god are we together how about accessing the anointing of the holy spirit the bible says how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power he went about doing good and healing all day that were oppressed of the devil and he said as my father has sent me so sent are you but why are you that not that anointed in spite of the fact that the bible already says it's in your destiny that every ordination carries an anointing where is the anointing that follows your call just because you see it in scripture that is the will of god for you to be anointed does not mean you'll be anointed there are keys that enforce that verdict to your life that becomes a difference between any two believers it's not the will of god not necessarily the election of grace it is that one has chosen to partner with the spirit to enforce the speakings of god whereas the other one maybe through ignorance or carelessness has refused to come into that divine partnership say i am a co-laborer with god say that again say i am a co-laborer with god yes the formula is always the spirit and the bride say come the spirit and the bride say come the spirit and the bride say be healed god is spirit so when god says i want healing in taraba there has to be a believer who echoes that same thing the bride the spirit and the bride the spirit and the bride the spirit and mary made the word become flesh the spirit and the bride say come when the spirit is saying be healed be lifted be changed and there is no believer who is standing in partnership the word of god will continually look impotent impotent you're my glory the lifter up of my head you're my glory the lifter up of my head you are my glory the lifter up of my head you are my glory the lifter up of my head the lifter up of my head the lifter up of my head you're the lifter up of my head the lifter up of my head the lifter up of my head this will be your song he's the lifter up of my head you're the lifter up of my head That men will look at your life after Peniel and say, what happened? In two weeks, the favor, the increase, the anointing, and you will tell them that I found out that when God speaks, you do 
will not just fold your arms and say amen that's not how to say amen you say amen by coming into divine partnership one in prayer and two through obedience you walk in keeping listen the real secret to obedience is knowing the conditions tied because you see obedience is not action alone obedience is action as demanded let me have one gentleman here anybody at all please just anybody come anybody come sir now watch this if i ask this gentleman my brother and wife come i saw you already coming so you come you're a pastor god bless you pastor so it's good that you are here that means it's a new season for you in jesus name please stand here sir just for a moment if i ask this man of god i ask this gentleman go and meet this man of god when you meet him reach out to his left hand there is a biro there collect it please lift your biro sir can you see that there is a biro here that means i have integrity whether he can see the biro or not I have integrity are we together so if this man never gets the biro it is not limitation on my own part i'm the one who gave this man the biro so i know but the condition connected to it is that you walk to this man reach out to his left hand let me tell you what most believers do in the name of jesus this biro must be my destiny i know it is it not god you just allow me you will see one day this biro will enter my hand 2015 2016 2017 2018 2019 and yet the spirit is still saying this is in your destiny and the man is saying god but he's having dreams of himself holding the biro and using the biro he will wake up from the dreams and record it yet it will never come to pass because he does not know how to partner with prophecy then one day he comes to peniel 2024 and he hears a man of god teaching showing him what needs to be done now you walk gallantly to my left and pick your biro go ahead go ahead go ahead you're the lifter up of my head you're the lifter up of my head you're the lifter up of my head now watch this the day he got the biro was not the day God wanted him to get the biro. It's already in his destiny. Imagine the things he would have written with that biro if he had had the knowledge. He kept telling himself, come back again, please. Thank you, sir, for using you. Thank you for your humility. This man will keep saying, how can I lie Sharia forever? And God will say, no, I don't work like that. Now, if you have to learn God using the life of this man, he will misrepresent God because there are many things you will credit to God that is not God's concern at all. He's not understanding the dynamics of enforcing God's word will make God look like a liar. For someone, that biro can be your church land. For someone, that biro can be blessings for your children. For someone, it can be healing. And you are wondering god but are you not watching me i tell you the truth your obedience is the bridge between prophecy and its manifestation when god puts the program peniel in the life and the mind of his servant god already saw these days but whether or not it will happen he had to get up and partner with god when he was planning the program you did not sign any contract that you will come but see what obedience can do that is how powerful complete obedience is are we together so stand again my friend this time around let me give this man of god my bible to hold so you hold it watch this are we together now this man is representing you also representing your children your children's children because the promise is unto everybody now whether or not you will receive this today does not depend on God God is willing he already told you and the Word of God is a compendium of God's desire 
don't ask God for things he's already told you is his will no it's not a wise thing God will you heal me it's already written it's already written if I come to your house and you serve me food and I keep staring at it and salivating and getting sad I say sorry after one hour is this for me and you say yes please feel free everything yes and after two hours you still find me there you can become offended because you would think I'm poisoning you that becomes the only suspicion what are you still doing you are hungry and here's pounded yam or here's rice in front of you what stops you from eating with thanksgiving and you say I'm still watching the person who gave you although God is not like that but that you, the person becomes offended and says, okay so you are hungry and you are rejecting my food that means you think I want to kill you God is a good father for someone this is ministerial increase please hold it sir for someone this is your finances for someone this is your healing for someone this is a new level for someone this is business increase for a young man here this is an extraordinary prophetic ministry an extraordinary apostolic ministry but whether or not sometimes God has to encourage you by showing you dreams you see yourself standing on the crusade ground you wake up from that dream and just record it and leave it there it will never come to pass I told you yesterday revivals have no dates the day the vessels are ready that is the day revival happens so this gentleman has come for Peniel and he's had the word and while hearing the word the spirit of grace came on him and he said so I have delayed my destiny like this that means this backwardness this retrogression this suffering in spite of the fact that I love God I've not been able to make progress in my life so this is the cause this is your destiny let's work together this is what the Holy Ghost does he engraces you one step after the other as you are hearing the word this man is closer to his destiny closer to his destiny and suddenly you see that and as that happens to him supernaturally you begin to see an anointing and you say I used to know this brother now he has come into partnership with heaven when did this gentleman start healing the sick the day he chose to obey prophecy the day he chose to come into partnership hmm. obedience is powerful Jesus is washing the eyes of someone or placing mud and tells a blind man by yourself go to a pool called Silo when God says go it means the grace to go has been given to go to the pool called Siloam and wash if I were the man I would say I'm blind and you put mud again on the eyes but the man went there and washed and he returned seeing hmm. are we together I'm saying this because this is what is about to happen to someone you are you are long there are some things that should not happen in your life again again don't be in doubt because God has given the verdict already to his servant never again should the elements of creation fight you never again should the sea the wind the sun the moon fight you never again no but it is obedience your father would have done it but he did not do it till he died your mother would have done it she could not do it till she died your grandfather would have done it now God has found you don't disappoint him don't disappoint him don't disappoint him God had always desired to come through for that family but they thought that when God speaks you fold your arms and just say amen folding your arms and saying amen is not how you find rest you find rest after obedience you war with the prophecy that has been given in prayer and through obedience and now this man he receives this thing and the next thing you see him carrying what he was not born with I know this guy when he was born I don't know him with this prophetic grace obedience brought it this man was born from a poor family begging he even came to our house as a child you are right but Saul can become Paul 
Jacob can become Israel. Men can change. Destinies can be rewritten at the instance of obedience. Rejoice not over me, my enemies. Don't look at the yesterday version whereas obedience is evolving me already. You are looking at the weak man of God whereas I found power with God already. Don't look at Jacob the cheat and the supplanter when his name has been changed to Israel. Men can find God. Obedience brings men into divine partnership and they establish through their partnerships the verdict of heaven. Hallelujah. Have you gotten this illustration? In the name of Jesus, man of God, may the Lord bless you Amen. and increase your ministry. I speak over you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let it be a new season for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. Now listen to me. In this place tonight are people who are trusting God to establish his verdict or to change certain decrees. Daniel chapter 3, 29 and 30. The three Hebrew boys changed the decree of the king. When the king speaks, any other king who has spoken, their verdicts and their decrees, like sicknesses, like yokes, like curses, whatever it may be, can change. The representative of the governor came out and he gave a very humbling testimony. I don't know where he met the, the, the Muslim girl, but you imagine that lady. I'm even hearing the testimony for the first time myself. That someone can come in the presence of God and in one moment, one, one moment, one moment, one moment, seven people will start running now. Hold them please so they don't injure themselves. Just hold them. The power of God is coming on them. Shalaneke paruziata krabele sote balato shavraski betesh Krete belendo sabreti shalakusiada. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You are my glory, the lifter up of my head. You are my glory, the lifter up of my head. The Lord is speaking to someone. There are at least 10 of you. Now help them please. That you are the deliverer over your family. There is an anointing. You are the deliverer. There is a mantle upon you. You are the one who God is going to be using. Like a Gideon. Help them. Like a Gideon. I will soon ask you to bring them out. Like a Deborah, like a Gideon, you are the one who the grace is upon. You are the one who the grace is upon for the deliverance of your family. I'm saying it again, you are the one who the grace is upon. As I'm speaking, I'm depositing an anointing upon your spirit man. Holy, holy, blessed is he. Who comes in the name of our God? Holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God we hail you we worship you we hail you most high we hail you we worship you we hail you there's a wind that is blowing in this place 
it's a wind that is blowing in this place please i'd like you to bring all those people out now if the ushers are few some of you who are workers within the ministry please join them join them very quickly please bring them out a wind is blowing it's a new season new season there's a reason why i ask that you bring them out the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing fire and the lord is saying i should tell someone you are coming to the end of an old season a season of training god has been working upon you my god i don't know who that person is but fire is falling upon that person you have prayed you have fasted you are coming to the end of a prophetic season you are at the corridor stepping into a new season with a new mantle with a new anointing an old season an old season with everything that is old with the limitations of the old given way by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah i'm hearing in my spirit deliverance from delay delay i don't know who i'm speaking to but fire is about to fall your family has been kept down in the same position nobody moves right now i decree and declare at the count of three may that fire fall help that lady in the name of jesus the spirit behind delay i come by the road of the apostolic and the prophetic give way now 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 the spirit of delay tying down ministries tying down families tying down children tying down destinies open your mouth and pray in one minute i break the chains of delay delaying ministry never again delaying ministry delaying destiny Karaba, are you praying north east are you praying never again i stand to enforce the verdict of heaven outside pray following by television turn your home to a prayer room turn your living room to a prayer room don't just watch pray participate I'm hearing the name Godwin Godwin your name is Godwin sir you know him I want to speak to you sir oh because I was going to say that I'm looking at you sir I hope you're not offended sir because I am looking at him and I saw the same thing on your head on him the same cap Bishop cap I still saw it on him and, and you are a bishop, sir. Huh? Yes, sir.
in the name of jesus sir with all you please don't kneel please don't kneel please don't kneel you are a bishop we honor you in the name of jesus are you alone sir you are with your wife there's a grace on this meeting that you are carrying back are you an anglican bishop sir i'm seeing a replica of this kind of thing wherever i don't know where your your um your diocese or your station oh you are here i'm seeing a replica i don't know whether it's here or wherever it is you are but i'm seeing a replica of this kind of meeting in the name of jesus i agree with you sir by the privilege of the apostolic let grace let fire let it rest upon you let it be a new season for you and your wife and the ministry in the name of jesus and we use this man as a point of contact to pray for every bishop here that the grace god has deposited upon his servant his lordship let it be reproduced across the entire you know across the entire anglican communion in the name of jesus christ hallelujah who is josiah god bless you sir josiah i'm hearing a name josiah I want to pray for the sick but i'm hearing the name josiah please make sure you verify have you very is it josiah ah! i'm seeing stones in a vision and i'm seeing fire come out of them and the lord is saying destroy the hold of witchcraft this thing has tied a family destroy the hold of witchcraft I'm going to count three and you're going to shout the name Jesus any family here where witchcraft has sat on you manifesting as sickness manifesting as patterns as you shout that name here at Peniel 2024 in the name of Jesus every altar must give way are you ready now at the count of three one two three shout Jesus I command dark powers I command yokes I command altars give way now by the blood of the eternal covenant help that lady by the blood of the eternal covenant be broken be broken over destinies be broken over destinies across the 16 local government areas in Taraba state here be broken be broken yokes that have tied down women so they don't make progress be broken now yokes that have tied down young men so they don't go forward be broken now yokes that return married women back to their parents homes be broken now hallelujah listen listen i feel stead in my spirit to speak over the church in the northeast while we were having our conference as i flew over canada in fact before i got there for those of you who follow the conference i saw a dark cloud literally over the territory and the lord said this thing is targeted at priesthood so that those who bear the name of the lord cannot be effective within the territory let me tell you honestly there are spirits within territories and in order of priority the first thing they fight they fight the voices that represent the program of god are we together now we are going to pray in one minute before i begin to pray for the sick that every church you will join me in the prayer every church that names the name of christ in taraba using the anglican communion as a point of contact that in the name of jesus every attack on the influence of the church every attack on the body of christ in taraba and the northeast we stand as a united family of faith and we declare that it falls like dagon before the ark open your mouth and pray in one minute advancement for the church of the lord jesus christ massive salvation of souls like never before massive deliverances massive transformation by the accurate communication of doctrine 
believers empowered sense to be witnesses advancing the program of God within this territory someone pray in Jesus name we pray this little boy don't worry you don't have to lift him I'm looking at a little boy like this but what I'm seeing is a snake I'm not saying the boy is a, a witch or a wizard that's what, I'm just telling you that I'm seeing oppression I don't know how old this boy is but in the name of Jesus I declare release this boy now out of it now release this boy now look at this look at this this is a little boy he is not even aware of what is happening Satan for you you will watch this boy cause a lot of destruction and not know and now let me correct something if you're a prophet here listen and learn because of what I saw you can call this boy a witch he's not a witch being under a demonic influence does not make you a witch don't harass people and keep creating stigma that even after they are delivered if this boy is your cook now even after he's delivered if you call him a witch will you eat the food so there needs to be intelligence as we dispense the gifts of the spirit the yoke and the foundation responsible for this boy's problem has nothing to do with him he was just a victim but thank god for the house of god he says send the help from his sanctuary there is help in the sanctuary of god so we use this boy as a point of contact to everyone who has been brought out here by the spirit of god for various reasons in the name of jesus everyone under any demonic influence by the blood of the eternal covenant i set you free now 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 by the blood of the eternal covenant who is rebecca 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 i can presume that that's the name of so many people i'm hearing the name rebecca gentlemen i can't even remember why i asked you to come here josiah who is rebecca My mother. your mother yes, are you his mother madam or you are rebecca huh no no don't worry if 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 your relative is rebecca just receive by faith while you are standing i mean a real rebecca who is here please god bless you sir thank you somebody will be related to rebecca in one way or the other but i mean those who if you are rebecca here so that we don't don't tell lies are you rebecca your real name given to you by your parents rebecca there's someone you came here with pain just here where i'm placing my hand around your what, what part of the body is this what do we call this place hip the hip area right now as i'm speaking the power of god is coming upon you i want you to check yourself we'll take a few testimonies now let me pray over you, rebecca my dear the anointing of the spirit is coming on you this lady in front of me i decree and declare for you and for your family in the name of jesus christ rebecca by the power of the holy spirit every curse is broken now every curse is broken now every curse is broken now in the name of jesus who is adamu 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 that's like a house name for adam i think adamu is your name adamu who knows him who knows him as adamu is his name Adamu? Mm. No, sometimes we have to do this thing because you know, people just think everyone is faking this thing. So sometimes you just do this for the sake of integrity. Hallelujah. My friend, I'm going to pray for you. Uh, gentlemen, Adamu, I want to pray for you. I stretch my hands over you and I decree and declare. Look at me. The Lord is healing someone. You have a condition with your heart your heart you cannot lie down 
with one, one area you don't even know what is happening to you it's a medical condition that can eventually degenerate to heart failure if god does not step in you feel severe pain around your heart i'm about to pray for the sick now and the power of god will heal you but at the more i pray for you and your family in the name of jesus may god restore that is a prophetic word for you i declare a word of restoration in the name of jesus christ josiah is that the name in jesus name what do you do sir you're a student i want to pray for you in jesus name because i'm seeing a josiah who god is going to live to become a breadwinner that god will use to wipe the tears of his family members i pray for you this man where are you from this city at this very one yes. from where what from the local government from where the local government zing yes i pray for you in the name of jesus may the lord show you mercy Amen. may god lift you to be a breadwinner in your family Amen. do not despise yourself not the workings of god in your life he will turn you as ordinary as you look to a sign and a wonder in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ there is a gentleman at the back i see the power of god coming on a gentleman this is a very strong prophetic grace a gentleman it may fall on many people but a gentleman a gentleman mighty anointing careful let him not run anyhow please hold him hold him a gentleman you don't have to bring him out i'm just speaking over him a strong prophetic grace let that anointing rest upon you may god begin to do wonders through your life the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now i want to pray for the sick please look at me i believe with all my heart that you can walk away tonight from every demonic infirmity that has plagued your body are we in agreement on that here's what will happen i'm going to pray for the sick very quickly and let me request for the presence of one or two pastors here as soon as i pray for you i'm going to ask yourself i'm going to ask you to check yourself the moment the power of god touches you and you see that a miracle has happened some of you while you came here under the anointing already a miracle had happened i want you to walk to my left or to my right we'll take a few testimonies before i begin to make declarations over your life now lay your hands where you are trusting god for a miracle everywhere outside if you came with a sick person now is the time to believe god for their healing remember divine verdicts have to be engaged through the partnership of obedience for you are glorious and worthy to be praised you are the lamb of god upon the throne and unto you we lift our voice in praise you are the lamb upon the throne jesus something special supernatural about your name jesus something happens when i mention please place your hand believe god for a miracle you had the testimony that the representative of the governor brought here very humbly I think God allowed him to just bring that testimony to stir up the faith of somebody. I want to pray for you. You do not have to walk away with that sickness. I have been sick before. I know what it means to be sick. And I know what it means to be healed. Genuinely healed. Not pretentiously healed. Genuinely healed. When the power of God touches you, medicine will confirm it. Medicine does not conflict the supernatural power of God. If it is genuine, authentic healing, medicine will agree that you are healed. 
I want to pray for you. Place your hand. If it's your head, lay your hands there. Your eye, lay your hands there. If you are holding a picture of someone who is sick, you can agree. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. Thank you, Jesus. No other name like the name of Jesus. No other name like the name of the Lord. No other name like the name of Jesus. He's worthy of honor. He's worthy of power. He's worthy of power and praise. In the name of Jesus Christ. You may be outside, but let me tell you truly, distance is no barrier. I saw so many people outside across the windows and some who are following on ACNN, following across the airwaves. Give God a chance to bring his healing power to your homes, your offices. This is what he can do. This is what he wants to do now. That you can also join the Never Again campaign. That never again will I spend all my salary on just drugs and earnings. Speaking about the woman with the issue of blood, the Bible says she spent her all on doctors and it was in no way better. I pray for you now. In the name that is above all names. Everyone under the sound of my voice. You don't have to bring those under the anointing out again. If I ask you to, then you else just manage them where they are so they don't injure themselves every infirmity represented here the spirits that are back of any infirmity plaguing god's people in the name of jesus i declare let god's people go now my god the anointing of the spirit is so strong in this place let god's people go now the spirits behind infirmities the spirits behind diseases we curse you by the blood of the eternal covenant in the name of Jesus Christ now I declare be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name headaches be healed in Jesus name body pains be healed in Jesus name ulcers be healed in Jesus name fibroids I command you to flush out of that body now heart problems be healed in the name of Jesus back pain be healed in the name of Jesus bone conditions be healed in the name of Jesus conditions you couldn't see begin to see in the name of Jesus deaf ears be open now in the name of Jesus urinary problems be healed now in the name of Jesus severe weakness of your body severe weakness in the name of Jesus be healed now the Lord is showing me someone you cannot successfully climb a staircase without stopping to breathe is something that is wrong with your heart the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ pile be healed now in the name of Jesus Whether it's your circle or not, you have consistent flow and it comes with excruciating pain. The power of God is touching you right now. The power of God is touching you right now. Lump around the right breast is being healed now by the power of the Holy Spirit. There's a gentleman is like you have a projection in your throat. Very inconveniencing, you cannot swallow it looks like something is growing around your throat 
I declare that that growth disappears now. That growth disappears now. There's someone you have what we call muzzle pool. Once you are walking, sometimes you have to stop because it looks like there is a severe sprain. The power of God is touching you right now. You couldn't lift your right hand very high because of excruciating pain around your shoulder. The power of God is touching you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, you've treated it, it looks like cough or catar, but it has refused to go. You are always coughing out something. Always coughing out something from all the time. Coughing out something. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the healing power of Jesus touch you now. Shout a believing amen. Now, whether I mention your case directly or not, there is a pastor. You're beginning to feel symptoms of arthritis. One side of you is becoming weak. In fact, when you lie down, if you don't lie down well, you feel numbness. You know how sometimes it looks like blood is not flowing. This happens one side of you. It is symptoms of arthritis. The power of God is touching you right now. The power of God is touching you right now. I'm seeing someone you have like a boil around your armpit. In the name of Jesus Christ, the power of God is healing you right now. Your neck, you sprained your neck. And from that time, you are able to move your neck. But there is excruciating pain from within when i'm done praying you check yourself you will not find that pain again in the name of jesus christ now there's someone i'm seeing you have a child that child is beginning to be incoherent like symptoms of autism you gave birth to a normal child but right now the child is beginning to be incoherent you know it's like there's no coordination the child is losing coordination and is becoming aggressive the power of God is touching you right now. The power of God is touching you right now. The power of God is touching you right now. Now, whether I mention your case or not, be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Across the airwaves, I bring you life by the Spirit. I bring life to your body life to your organs life to your system in the name of jesus now here's what i want you to do for me i want you to start checking yourself now check yourself by faith do what you couldn't do before and the moment a miracle happens to you please make your way to the front we'll take a few people the first sets of people to come please let there be a pastor coordinating them and immediately you check yourself please make sure you are bold god is touching people already are you seeing miracles happening already check yourself those who are outside the moment you find that a miracle has happened please make your way to the front very very quickly do what you couldn't do you need to use the restroom do that very quickly and the lord will bless you very quickly very quickly very quickly i sing praises to your name Oh God, praises to your name. Oh God, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. I sing praises to your name. Oh God praises to your name keep coming celebrate miracles are you celebrating what jesus is doing make your way to the front check yourself once you can do what you could not do before together let's sing one time before we take the testimonies i sing praises to your name oh god praises to your name Oh God, for your name is great 
and greatly to be praised. I sing praises to your name. Oh God, praises to your name. Oh God, for your name is great and greatly to be praised for your name is great and greatly to be praised for your name is great are you celebrating what jesus is doing For your name is great and greatly to be praised. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Apostle, there's a miracle here. Go ahead. Please, I want you to listen to these testimonies for a few minutes that we have. Then we'll pray over the requests. Yes, sir. Very quickly. This is a case of the locked shoulder. Since 2021 2021 yes sir but you could it couldn't move it you couldn't move it and right now right now go ahead move it move it any pain any pain completely gone in the name of jesus i decree and declare it never returns to you again by the power of the holy spirit celebrate him very quickly next person very quickly all right apostle there's a miracle here yes this woman when she sits down to stand up and walk will be, become a very difficult. is she able to speak yes sir let me hear her speak speak anything english house mama go ahead i this leg is disturbing me for three years now yes i i take drugs uh, many times i used to buy one one cart of drugs three thousand four thousand because of this leg and what but happened to you now, now mama run <laughs> run mama look at this Hallelujah, eh, eh, eh. Hallelujah, eh, eh, eh. Tarab, are you ready to celebrate? Now unto the Lamb upon the throne We raise up We raise For he is God and God alone Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Please be seated. Go ahead. Apostle, there's a miracle here. Please. This is a miracle of a sprain in the neck. A sprain in the neck. Which she had three days ago. Yes. But when you gave the word. Yes, sir. About the sprain. Check the yourself, pain, my dear. Every pain. Any pain. Gone. Any pain. Gone forever. In Jesus' name, it never returns to you again. Amen. Let's celebrate her very quickly. Yes, please. This is a condition of heart palpitation. Just help those under the anointing. The power of God is still moving, so you just help them. Go ahead, sir. Heart palpitations. Heart palpitations. Yes, he has been on drugs. Are you sure? Heavy drugs. Gentlemen, let me hear him speak. Have you gone to the hospital? Yes, sir. What's your name? Caleb. Help us with the sound. Your name? Caleb. Caleb. Okay, what was the issue? Like sometimes I cannot breathe well. I, I hardly breathe. Sometimes I came with my drugs. You came with your drugs? Yes, sir. Here? No, not here. I, the place that I'm staying. Okay, the place you're staying. Yes, sir. Breathe in and out now. Deep breath. In and out. Any pain. Yes, sir. Look at what Jesus is doing. In the name of Jesus. Palpitations gone forever. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Very quickly. Apostle, there's another miracle here. Yes, please. She has been experiencing headaches, severe headache, and she has so many drugs. So many drugs and for the working, headache. And, and it's not working. But right now, she mentioned the word for healing. She, her head is sound now. She's okay. There is no issue of headache again. She can shake her head to show that no one. Go ahead, shake yourself, darling. The power of God is on her. Please help her. You are my strength when I am weak. 
You are the treasure that I seek. You are my all in all. Still remember that song? I'm seeking you as a precious jewel. Not to give up, I'll be here for you. You are my all in all. Sing it, Jesus. Lamb of God, worthy is your name, Jesus, you're the Lamb of God, worthy is. This is what Jesus is able to do. Go ahead, please. Apostle, another confirmation. This is the lady that you talk about when you lie down, when she lies down on one side and she will feel numbness, arthritis. She confirmed yes. it. And right now, her, her, that area is okay. Your hands, your feet, do what you couldn't do, my dear. Any pain. Any pain. Lift your legs. You couldn't do that before. And right now, in the name of Jesus, he will never return to you again. Amen and amen. Very quickly, let's hurry up. Apostle, there is a miracle here. Yes, sir. When you were ministering, you called the case of somebody with hip pain here. Yes. Yes, this is the guy. He How has... long has it been? For several years back. I think For several years. Several. What is your name? My name is Joshua. Joshua. Joshua Patrick. Okay. Yeah. What happened to you? So, several years back when I was playing ball. Straight to the point. You I were playing a, ball and... I had a strain. Yes. So, so that stream makes me to have pain, reoccurring pain all the time. Okay. Like anywhere ever I am, when I there's a way I move my leg and, and I right feel now, the pain. But right when you pray, I don't feel any pain again. Like I'm here. Check yourself. Yes, I'm here. Any pain? No pain. No pain. Completely. No pain. Completely. Do you play football still? I don't play football. <laughs> In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, the pain goes away, never to return again. Amen. Someone say never again. Never. Again shout it say never again. never again in the name of jesus god bless you yes please apostle this is a case of ulcer ulcer it's like a pattern in the family but when you started praying she said the pain she oh had i saw pain. that lady under the anointing yes that the pain checked out and went how many her. people have that ulcer pain everyone in my family has it everyone mother father siblings yes through my mom's side everyone has it every pattern represented here like father like son they say like mother like daughter i declare in the name of jesus by this never again anointing let it be broken forever i use her case to speak yours may not be ulcer but it may be patterns of poverty patterns of barrenness patterns of untimely death i say it again let it be broken now broken now broken now please be seated my dear i speak over you in the name of jesus because you are here we agree as the body of the lord jesus christ that an end comes to that ordeal in jesus name we pray amen god bless you I don't know how many were able just maybe we'll just select a few um, um my apologies for sake of time there's a long queue and i'm not sure you are free to share the testimonies at subsequent sessions the conference still continues beyond today so let's see how we can select a few just to glorify the name of the lord because we have to pray and i do the impartation very quickly there are people whose destinies are waiting for this grace and it must land upon you tonight in the name of jesus so let's have three or four and then go ahead yes apostle this is a, a, a case of serious neck pain he neck pain he can't shake his neck yes but at the, at the release of the word he cannot shake his neck freely in the name of jesus he will never return to you by the power of the holy spirit hold on a lady and a gentleman will shout loud under the anointing i will tell you what that means the bible says the shout of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous it's a prophetic act it's a sign and a wonder but it's a signal that God is stepping over a family. This is what I just heard in my spirit. Sometimes God does these things. They may be supernatural, but there are messages contained in them. Therefore, I decree and declare that every family where there has been mourning, 
every family where there has been failure backwardness retrogression let a shout of a king be found in the midst of her let the shout of a king be found in the midst of her I've got a message from the Lord Hallelujah A message unto you I bring It is recorded in His Word Hallelujah It's only that you look and leave Look and leave My brother leave Look to Jesus Christ and leave is recorded in his word hallelujah it's only that you look and leave apostle yes sir there is a remarkable testimony please go ahead this lady, look how the lady is also is smiling already she was insane she was insane yes and her cosmates are here they recognize they knew her she came here mad that's what i'm saying apostle but now she said every symptom gone look at this gone. look at this every every everything went back to hell where they came from <laughs> hold on who are her classmates who came with her you are her friend what happened to her sir she is my cosmate she has to um this in define one semester because she was uh, she had to defy one semester yes our what five, university during, what school is Arabah that state university our last semester as a 400 level student sociology so she had to defy the semester because she was insane because she was insane yes sir medically confirmed yes sir stand up darling what is your name give her the mic what is your name by name, sir. I wish you long life, good health in your ministry. I'm Amen. Pastor. Thank you. What a happy lady. What did she say her name is? I'm Faith Edwards, sir. What school are you? Arab State University. Walk and come back. Go right there and come back. Na doka ka sunanta, ubangi chika isaya bo. Na kirma ma sunanta, ubangi Nada oka ka sunanka, ubangi chika isaya bo. Na kirma ma sunanka, ubangi chika. Listen, the Bible says, "Wherefore God has so highly exalted him." You see, you call that madness or whatever medical condition it is called. But the Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Now imagine if Peniel was not put together. Someone shout over her, say never again. Never again. Prophesy, it, say never again. Never again. In the name of Jesus. So you have missed one semester. In the name of Jesus, you will return back to school, eh? Amen. And you will do well. Amen. Come, I have a gift for you. May God bless you. Come, come, come. This is stand up. Give it to her. May God bless you. Don't go and waste it, eh? Go and meet your parents. Tell them you came for Peniel 2024. Tell your mother, your father that Jesus still delivers. Let this be your souvenir back home. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God. Come on Taraba. Give Jesus a big hand clap. Yes. Apostle sir. This lady came here with a swollen bladder. She came here with a swollen bladder. A swollen bladder? That is even affecting her movement. How do you know? The side of my bladder, the rest of my bladder. The side of your bladder. It's swollen. Did you go to the hospital? Yes. Yeah, Medically said, confirmed? This test said they said they did not see anything, but my bladder is swollen at the right side. And okay. My tummy is also swollen at the your right tummy side. is also swollen at the right side. Yes, and it's affecting my right leg to my waist. I see. What happened now? Before I started praying, the pain left. Completely. Yes. Check it now. Yes. What of the swelling? swelling. Press it. Swelling. Go ahead. Any pain? Come on, Taraba, you think thank you.
for someone in the name of Jesus this grace will be replicated in your meetings signs and wonders supernatural manifestations of the power of God in the name of Jesus I declare my dear this is over forever in Jesus name how many more can we take very quickly this is this is a case of a pattern you know pattern you talked about a fire coming out from stones yes she said she had been having that experience of fire burning in her leg and this has been in her family her mother is where are you from my dear Adam state sir oh you came from Adam state I'm schooling you are schooling here yes, sir. in the name of Jesus the plague of witchcraft is broken over your life in the mighty name of Jesus never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit amen let me hear that Baba's testimony I'm seeing an elderly man is it alright if we have if he's been confirmed let me hear his testimony just to give honor to Jesus I want to know what is wrong with him I, I didn't mean all the men hold on that's lift his he came with that stick you can walk now walk turn around are you celebrating jesus i stand amazed in the presence of jesus the nazarene and wondered how you could love me a sinner condemned oh how marvelous you guys are hold on what songs are you using here <laughs> shall ever be choir i'm giving you an assignment where where's the choir where are my wonderful people choir say hallelujah let me see you oh yeah you should go and learn all these songs after this conference eh don't just learn all these songs to jump around mix both old and new join it together are we together yes the people know songs that you need songs that can serve both the elders 50 plus 10 2 5 are we together is that a deal that the next time i come i will start with a hymn and make sure we'll sing it oh god bless you celebrate my people for me amen yes please yes, yes apostle he has a very severe hip pain hip pain that affects his walking Baba, how long has this been? For the past one year, it has been extremely painful. I can't sleep in the night. Kai. I can't do anything. Where is Especially that now? Especially this place that you pointed out. That was, that was the headquarters. Check it right now. <laughs> what did he say? I'm not sure I got that. Yes, said, sir. That was the headquarter. headquarter. That was the headquarter. Okay, you okay. live in the headquarters here. No, no, no. That the side of the hip, was the, the side of the hip is the headquarter of the, the pain. Oh, I see. <laughs> don't mind baba let's celebrate him please let's celebrate our father it's, it's and, and right now what happened to you sir I, check check yourself any pain are you seeing what the lord is doing now it's the same with him too when you mentioned the hip condition yes that was exactly what he was in the having. name of jesus we pray yes, i think it's a message that yes, god sir. is visiting all men yes sir. it's not just young men so we take this as a testimony even for the elderly over taraba never again someone shout even for the elderly in taraba we declare never again never again in jesus name amen god bless you sirs please let's take one more we'll only give room for one more my apologies when we take one more i will speak a blessing over all who have come out and then let someone lead them they can register their testimonies and then tomorrow and all the sessions they are liberty to testify the most important thing is that god's people hear what the lord has done so do we have one more so we go straight we're out of time just any one more praise the name of the lord yes sir this condition he said he has had it since he was a child since he was a child yes sir which is now left. this is interesting yes what's the condition sir it's like it's it works like an arthritis it has been excruciatingly painful for I, how long has this been sir since he was a child i was a child since you were a child yes. wow 
this must have been for some decades now yes. what happened tonight sir but he said when you started praying he said the pain checked out to hell and now he could move he could do what he could move your I feel tempted to sing for him as he's moving. Oh, walk, 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 walking in the light. Oh, walk, 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 walk. Oh, walk, 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 walking in the light. Walking in the light. Oh, oh walk. Walking in the light. Oh, walk. Walk, 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 walk in the light. Oh, walk, 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 walk. Walk in the light of God. That's how someone will move from the place of pain to a place of joy. From the place of pain to a place of joy. From the place of scarcity to a place of abundance. From a place of weakness to a place of strength. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands over the remaining testifiers. For sake of time, we are not able to take their testimonies. But we do not take for granted the mighty hand of God in the midst of his people. Go ahead. Prophesy over them. Say never again. Everything you've been healed from. You remain healed from it forever healed forever in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen God bless you God bless you let's honor them as they go hallelujah can I have the prayer request who is yet to submit your prayer request if you are yet to submit your prayer request please wave it very quickly else ushers can you quickly please everyone begin to pray right now please begin to pray begin to pray pray in the spirit something is about to happen right now I stand I stand in all of you I stand I stand in all of you only God to whom all praise is to I stand in awe. Sing it one more time with hands lifted to Jesus. I stand, I stand in awe of you. I stand, I stand in awe of you. Holy God, through whom all praise is due. I stand in awe of you. The Bible says, Unto he that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Why do we do this? As a prophetic point of contact. You've heard me say that this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is the most accurate representation of the desires of God's people because you wrote it by yourself most likely by hand if we prophesy we only prophesy according to the measure of grace given and because we see in part we prophesy in part but this right here is a representation of your pain your challenges the things that have stopped you from experiencing the fullness of God's life here's what the Bible says he that told you have asked for nothing he says ask and you shall receive that your joy may be full how many of you want your joy to be full when God visits your family when God visits your children I know that some of you are not able to drop your requests it's not about the ritual of writing prayers and bringing it here is that we're submitting everything to the God of heaven and I'm only standing here prophetically I sang a song if I recall last year I feel like singing that song again that God will make a way where there seems to be no way he walks in ways we cannot see he 
He will make a way for me. He will be my God. Holds me closely to His side. With love and strength for each new day. He will make a way. He will make a way. Sing it one more time with your voices and your hands lifted. God will make a way where there seems to be no way. He walks in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for me. He will be my God. Holds me closely to His side. With love and strength for each new day. He will make a way. He will make a way. Thank you, Jesus. Stretch your hands here prophetically and just begin to pray. Father, I'm taking my never again testimony. My never again testimony. I cried from January till July, now August. That will be the last cry. Not for this. If ever I cry, let it be a cry of joy, tears of joy. Someone who believes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. So I'll bow my knees and I'll pray with you whilst you are praying. Go ahead. Make sure you pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Shalabenda ke parato safra di balando si. Krate pati la kosa balanda safra di se baletos. Skate balet te parato sa se balatos ya kata. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Sada balada bagata balakos. Let there be a harvest of answers. A harvest of answers. A harvest of answers. A harvest of answers. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. He will come and save you. He will come and save you. Say to the weary one, your God will surely come. He will come and save you. My God will come and save you. He will come and save you. Lift up your eyes to Him. You will arise again. He will come and save you. One more minute. Shalabarantos kiatapa. Lord, step in for me. Give me a testimony. Wipe my tears. Let the glory of the Lord rise upon my life. Let it be evidence that I have received my never again testimony. In the name of Jesus I want to pray over your request now worthy is your name Jesus you deserve the praise worthy is your name worthy is your name Jesus you deserve the praise you do mighty things you do glorious things you are a faithful god awesome is your name you do mighty things you do glorious things you are a faithful God.
father in the name of jesus i bow my knees to you the father of glory the father of grace the bible says that we come boldly to the throne of grace to obtain help to find grace even in time of need i present before you the petitions the needs the desires the expectations of your people the bible says to call on to you and you will answer in the name of jesus i decree and declare over every request here written we declare speedy answers shout like believers who have the grace to receive we declare speedy answers speedy answers speedy answers let impossible situations be made possible by reason of this prayer rise to the next level in life and in destiny rise to the next level every helper who needs to show up over your life to allow for answers to this prayer we compel them to gravitate towards your life in the name of jesus christ and i decree and declare over someone the egyptians you see today you will see no more forever someone shout never again shout never again in jesus mighty name we pray you will never be the same you will never be the same I, 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 I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. I will never be the same. I I I. in the name of jesus the grace needed for the next level of your adventure in the spirit i stretch my hands towards you may you carry that oil now may you carry that anointing now the grace for exploits receive it the grace for speed let it rest on you the grace for favor let it rest on you signs and wonders let it rest on you hear me help this man signs and wonders let it rest on you every ministry every church here represented in the name of jesus fresh fire upon your altar fresh fire upon your altar everyone in business here i decree and declare that between now and the end of 2024 i prophesy in the name of jesus go forward go forward go forward receive it as a prophetic word go forward advance by the spirit of grace go forward advance by the spirit of grace I will multiply them they will not be few I will glorify them they will not be small may that be your testimony I pray for you every dormant gift lying within your spirit that is yet to find expression in the name of Jesus I stir up that water I stir up that water prophetic waters apostolic waters evangelistic waters I stir up that water entrepreneurial waters be stirred up in the name of Jesus hear me any man who fights you from today goes down I say it again any man who fights you from today goes down
Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Everywhere I've traveled, I've prayed certain prayers over God's people because I've seen from scripture through the lives of our fathers and even through my own life that the deficiency of certain graces will cost you immensely. One of the graces you need to receive is the grace that gives you access to the gift of men. You are as powerful as the men that choose to support you. John 5, 7. How come you have been in this condition, the man said. Jesus asked him and the man's reply was, I have no man. I know where the pool is. I know the miracle that happens there. But my problem is I have no man. In the name of Jesus, every helper strategically ordained by God to show up in your life in this season, in this month of August, not September, not October, not November, I'm praying only to one who has the faith to receive. I declare, encounter those helpers. Encounter those helpers. Encounter those helpers. Encounter those helpers in ministry. Encounter those helpers in the name of Jesus Christ. Number two, hear me. Your gift is as powerful as those who have capacity to appreciate and reward it. I used to think the only people who are blessed are gifted people. It's not true. You can be as gifted as you are, but if you are before the wrong audience, they will despise what you carry. There are men of God here, the anointing upon you, you should be serving God's grace to the nations. But for some reason, you have found yourself in the midst of people who have no appreciation for what you carry. This is true for businessmen. Hear me. Joseph interpreted three people's dreams. Same gift, same grace. The wine presser's dream did not promote him. He remained there because the wine presser had no capacity to help him. The baker, he remained there. But when the king dreamt, he interpreted the king's dream. Joseph did not rise because he interpreted dreams. It's because he interpreted the king's dream. It matters whose dream you are interpreting. For some of you, the grace you have can take you to the palace. But kings have been dreaming. But the connection to them is not there. Do you know that what you carry, there are people who are willing to pay anything. They don't know you are the one they are looking for. As a man of God, they don't know you are the one they are looking for. As a businessman, they do not know. I want to speak to you. Listen to what I'm saying. You accelerate to the degree to which men find you and appreciate the gift of God upon your life. It is a terrible thing to be in the midst of people who do not have an appreciation for the investment of God upon your life. The same Joseph was once in Potiphar's house. I believe Potiphar had many dreams, but he did not consider him worthy of help. Maybe Potiphar dreamt about the mistake his wife was about to make. If he leveraged on Joseph's ability to interpret dreams, maybe he would have been helped. The king dreamt, and no one could interpret the dream. And here's what the Bible says, that the king sent for Joseph, not God, the king, sent for Joseph, and they brought him out of his dungeon. Let me tell you something here. When you have been serving mean men, there's nothing wrong with that. The reward of kings is only found in the palace. So if you cannot gain entrance to the palace, you will never access the reward that befits your sacrifice. When God wants to help such a man, let me tell you what he does. He grants you by the spirit the discipline of refining your gift. When your gift is refined, he will start changing your audience till he positions you before people who have an appreciation for what you carry. The part of refining has happened for someone, but I want to prophesy a change of audience that in the name of Jesus Christ, after this conference, by the God of heaven who has sent me to Taraba, 
I decree and declare, may God place you before those who need what you carry. May God place you before those who need what you carry. May they reward you and appreciate you in every sense of the word. In the name of Jesus. I came into your land. You honored me. You received me. You were so gracious and so lavish with your honor. That's what happens when you come before a people who have discernment and an appreciation for what you carry. I'm saying this with all due respect, particularly to co-laborers in the gospel. There are many sincere people with integrity who love Jesus, but they've not been able to lift their head because there are horns that have kept them down to make sure Joseph never meets Pharaoh. Let me pray for you. Every spirit stopping Joseph from meeting Pharaoh so that he will not rise. I declare those spirits clear out of your way. Clear out of your destiny. Clear out of your way. Clear out of your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. Let me tell you sincerely. One genuine helper who believes they are sent to you can be such a son of consolation you believe what i'm telling you you don't need too many people you just need the right people someone can come to your family and tell you i was sent by god to make sure you do not cry there were such people who came to apostle paul there were such people who came to jesus they are called sons of consolation their assignment is to keep your hands lifted and protect your integrity while you serve. For anyone here working in integrity, whether in business, in ministry, in career, and you've been working alone, laboring alone, nobody to rise and hold your hand, in the name of Jesus, I program the ministry of helpers over your life over your ministry over your destiny over your children over your parents in the name of jesus hallelujah we're going to do something prophetic now very quickly please let me invite his lordship and the dear wife to come up stage and if i can have sat your recommendation any two other pastors we are going to speak over taraba please let's celebrate them as they come okay yes the bishop is this how you honor your men of god it's a new season for taraba it's a new season for taraba oh someone is not believing it's a new season for taraba the meaning of that is it's a new season for your children a new season for your ministry in the name of jesus hallelujah whilst the representative of the governor was making his remarks his speech his salutations he made mention that the governor had requested that we pray for taraba let me tell you any nation is as safe as the spiritual voices the integrity and the power of the spiritual voices within that place are we together and these great fathers of the land i'm standing in faith representing the body of christ over taraba and we're going to be making declarations we we'll all pray everybody except you don't love taraba whether you are from this state or not the bible says in the safety of that city is your own safety so don't say it's not my business don't make the mistake of esther mordecai warned her and said don't think the comfort of the palace will immune you by the time Haman is done with God's people he will come to the palace too hallelujah so in the next one minute imagine that you are praying for yourself imagine you were the governor of the state imagine you were a commissioner imagine it was your brother your sister imagine you were a pastor here with every sense of passion and love for Taraba and extending to the northeast i want you to be an intercessor for the next one minute go ahead and pray pray for the peace of taraba pray for jalingo pray for the 16 local governments that make up this state someone is praying pray passionately wisdom for the governor the executive council 
politicians pray that evil men will not find any place in your land saboteurs of integrity saboteurs of justice that they will not find a place within your nation pray for the pastors within the land that nobody will come into your city to mislead believers nobody will come into your city to bring the doctrine of demons and confuse the body of Christ within your city pray that God will raise people even indigenous people within the land who will blaze the fire of revival across Taraba across the Northeast go ahead and pray Lord we pray for the government of Taraba we pray for his excellency we pray for the cabinet members that they will serve you with truth in righteousness and justice void of falsehood void of pretense that politics will not be played with the destinies of men we pray wisdom for the leaders we pray for the church the body of christ within taraba strengthen every pastor strengthen every apostle strengthen every prophet strengthen every evangelist strengthen every worshiper strengthen every missionary that the men and women of god will serve the lord with integrity with character with truthfulness that there will be a harvest of souls massive transformation empowerment in jesus name we pray now very quickly just for one minute we'll just pass the mic to their lordships they would make one prophetic declaration us is to receive by faith over taraba and then we'll just end it with from his lordship down to the woman of god at least representing the women and then or oh, women you want to be left out where are the deborah say amen yeah. hallelujah and then to his lordship and then we wrap up are we in agreement on this amen yes sir please in the name of jesus father we stand under this corporate anointing we stand as your body you are the head we make these declarations under the influence of the head over taraba state in the name that is above every name we call forth rain that is meant for Taraba State. Let it begin to fall upon every local government. Let it begin to fall upon the state capital. Let every dead thing in Taraba State that is meant for the advancement of the kingdom of God including men and women come alive come alive come alive in the name of jesus let any form of reproach that has kept the rapper in abject poverty be rolled away from this moment let any form of limitation that has kept Taraba from developing in every ramification be broken in the name of Jesus. We declare that Taraba is blessed. Taraba is developing. Never again will it be said that Taraba State is backward in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh, thou that heareth and answereth prayer, we leave the judiciary unto your throne of grace, the legislative arm, the executive in Taraba State. We pray, O oh Lord, that you permit them by your unction in the mighty name of Jesus let your wisdom be made manifest through them 
let your knowledge be made manifest through them let them rule in your fear in the mighty name of jesus father we leave the ministers of the gospel we leave the ministerial into thy able hand thank you for doing exceedingly abundantly and above our request in jesus most excellent name we decree and declare amen Jesus name we pray yeah. under this corporate anointing we decree and declare that every woman in Taraba is blessed in the name of Jesus yeah. beginning from our first lady Mrs. Agen Kefas we decree preservation over your life in the name of Jesus yeah. every daughter in Taraba state is blessed in the name of Jesus yeah. none of our children shall be a concern to us in the name of Jesus we shall not bring forth for nothing in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because we know it's done. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. The Bible said we shall decree a thing and it shall be established. The Bible also said pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Lord, we decree peace upon Taraba State. No weapon formed against this state shall prosper. Any tongue that rises against Taraba state is condemned in judgment. The Bible said there is no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there any divination against the household of Israel. Lord, we stand against every enchantment, every divination, every manipulation, every interjection from the pit of hell against Taraba state Lord may you release judgment against them the Bible said the path of the just is like a shining light and it shines more and more unto the perfect day Lord we decree unending progress for Taraba state in the name of Jesus thank you father because we know it is done Jesus mighty name we pray. Emmanuel, God is with us. He shall reign. He shall reign. He shall reign forevermore. I agree with all the fathers in the land those who are here and those who are not here and all the servants of God here represented and all the executive members we declare over Taraba the statement Ichabod will never be heard again the statement Ichabod will never be heard again prophetically we attract foreign investors by the spirit may they come to this city may they invest in this city may they invest in education may they invest in infrastructure hallelujah one of the reverend was talking to me about what's the name of that place mambila what was it called that beautiful place gembu and he was telling me how beautiful that place is and i was thinking to myself there are places in the earth that are not one tenth that beautiful but some nations literally depend on them for tourism what is wrong with investors coming to put that place you can create an airport there and it can become a hub literally that alone is a gift to the state i'm not saying it's what the government did some of these projects are huge but this is where the power of prophecy comes governance is not only by executive members it is king priest prophet that is the formation that leads a nation to their prophetic destiny in the name of jesus every good thing in taraba may the eye of helper see it if there's employment opportunity then we declare let the young people find employment that god will bring more people to invest in education you see listen the church is not only for signs and wonders falling down and healing 
there is a portion of the church's influence that translates to territorial transformation are we together now by the time other industries and other infrastructures come there are so many things you have your land can produce almost anything i'm praying for you again and anybody who loves taraba should agree with me in the name of jesus may god send help from afar in the name of jesus christ that the young men over taraba will be gainfully employed they will not just pray in tongues and quote scripture they will be responsible over their families in the name of jesus i want to have the honor of leading a group of people one last time to this jesus not another one the jesus who can change the story of a man the one who has helped us the one who has shown us mercy please listen the thousands of people outside i want you to pay attention because the lord brought you here to find salvation not only to be healed not only to be delivered the greatest miracle in truth that can happen to any man in this side of god's kingdom is the miracle of reconciliation reconnection to the son of the living god and you are here perhaps you started attending this conference but you did not feel convicted enough to make this decision and the lord has brought you here tonight i want you to give me that honor one last time to lead you to this jesus the one who is the way the truth and the life the bible says no man cometh to the father except through him I'm going to be counting one to five and I'm making two calls in one. Number one, those who are saying, Apostle, sincerely, I surrender. I want to make it right with Jesus. I'm tired of living life my own way. Number two, those who are saying, Apostle, I need to rededicate my life to Jesus. I cannot say in truth that I'm enjoying fellowship with him. Wherever you are, I'm counting one to five. Very gloriously, very honorably, I want you to leave your seat and come and stand right in front of me your bags your bibles whatever you came to church with please make your way to the front let's honor them as they come i begin my counting now if you're coming please run run quickly and come and stand those coming from outside make that very fast please ushers clear the way for them let's celebrate salvation as they come come for i spoke a word you were singing over me Come. You have been so, so good to me. Keep clapping as they come. Two. Three. Four. Let's keep clapping as they're coming. Come to Jesus. Leaves the 99. I couldn't earn it. And I don't deserve it. Still you give yourself away. Oh, the overwhelming, never-ending God bless you. Let's celebrate them one last time. Young, old, male, female. All are welcome to his presence. The Bible says, as many who will come to him, you will in no wise cast away. Please look at me. Thank you very much, my brothers and sisters for making this noble decision it pays to know jesus it pays to love jesus it pays to serve jesus let me take that again it pays to know jesus you cannot love a god you do not know and you cannot serve a god you do not love it pays to know jesus then to love jesus then to serve jesus can you lift up your right hand high above your head as a sign of surrender hmm. you may cry but don't be ashamed of your tears it is Jesus showing you mercy you can start again no matter what has happened or not happened in your life say after me Lord Jesus 
one more time say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe that you are the way the truth and the life tonight i receive forgiveness of sin i declare that you are my savior you are my lord you are my king and the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight i'm a child of god i walk in victory for whatever and backward never amen keep your hands lifted and i pray for you father in the name of jesus christ i thank you for our brothers and sisters thank you for these ones who have come declaring your lordship over their lives i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave let it be broken over their lives the grace to live the victorious christian life i release upon you and i decree and declare that in the name of jesus you are the righteousness of god in christ you enjoy abundant life in experience in jesus name we pray now do we have the cards like yesterday okay so the counselors are going to be slipping a card right now very quickly please do not return to your seat until you receive that card for our little children here someone can help them fill it because i'm not sure they will know what to do your oil is blessed my dear in the mighty name of jesus christ and so for all of you who have come please make sure you receive your card once you receive that card may i please request that you fill it legibly and then you hand it to the ushers at the end of the service on your way out and then i'm sure there's a committee that will follow up with you may god bless you please return back to your seats rejoicing in the name of jesus christ let's celebrate them as they return back to their seats and someone please do well to help the children on their way back hallelujah my friend stop recording you have received jesus go back to your seat are we together don't carry phones around you are you are getting saved praise the name of the lord this this social media thing sometimes we need to help these our people everything is recording 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 people are getting born again and he's recording praise the name of the lord hallelujah now taraba hear me i'm wrapping up i want to say a very big thank you to every one of you thank you bishop foreman thank you your dear wife I want to thank your excellencies the pastors the leaders all who have received of our ministry and let me encourage you that the conference continues stretch yourself through the end of the conference and receive maximally all that god has in store for you but i'm praying that after peniel 2024 your life will never be the same the lord bless you the lord honor you thank you for your warmth and your reception from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching